What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So on today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is unboxing a brand new blow dryer from Paul Mitchell. Now, what I've decided to do is I wanted to uh, create an unboxing video one day a week for you guys so that you could see new things that are out there so you don't have to purchase them. I'll go over my thoughts about them as we unbox it and then you can make the decision from there whether you wanna pick this new product up or not. So like I said guys, today is our unboxing product day so what we're gonna be taking a look at is the new Paul Mitchell Halo blow dryer. This thing's got a $255 retail price point. So it's gonna be really interesting to see what Paul Mitchell has done to make this blow dryer the latest and greatest. So the first thing I wanna start off with is probably the most obvious, which is the packaging. I think that they did a great job on the packaging of this product because of the fact that if it's gonna sit on my retail shelves in the salon, I want people to see the design, see what the blow dryer actually looks like. So the one thing that I did notice about this blow dryer that I'm interested in is the fact that it does seem a little large. In a world of where we're making blow dryers, smaller. Paul Mitchell has made this dryer a little bit larger. Now that doesn't mean anything because it could be a nice and light blow dryer. The packaging, which seems pretty hefty, doesn't even feel that heavy. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, the weight of the blow dryer. Before we get into anything else, let's unbox this thing so we can take a look. Okay, so initial thoughts. That was the easiest unboxing ever. Inside this little box, you get a diffuser and you also get a, uh, a condenser nozzle as well. And then you have your blow dryer. Also the paperwork, which is the user guide for the blow dryer is right in here. Okay, so something that I've learned in my older age is you should read the instructions absolutely um, before using any products because of the fact that it's just good to learn exactly what everything does instead of trying to figure it out for yourself. It happens a lot faster that way. Okay, so I think the number one thing that a hairdresser worries about is the length of the cord. So this thing has a nine foot cord, which is perfect. It's the standard of any hairdresser's blow dryer. The cord on this blow dryer is super thick, which just to me means that it's made with more care, more quality, and more driven towards professionals. It's gonna, it's gonna last a long time. So last but not least, here is the blow dryer. Now the first thing you have to notice when you look at this thing is the design. It feels really great in the hand. It's nice and sleek, but it's got a really unique look. Um, it is a larger blow dryer, but a lot of people still love that. And when I put the nozzle in my hand, which is something that um, I do quite a bit when I'm round brushing, it feels really good as well. You got nice grip to it, but it's still sleek. The weight of it, it's not heavy. It's not super heavy, but it's not super light either. So it definitely feels like a workhorse blow dryer, um, not a dainty blow dryer, but it's not the heaviest blow dryer I've ever held either. So to achieve the unique look that they got with this blow dryer, they teamed up with award-winning industrial designer, Karim Rashid. And I have to say from a design standpoint, this is probably the coolest looking blow dryer I've ever seen. Now what I'm most excited excited about with this blow dryer is the fact that all the buttons on the top of the blow dryer are all digital. So we're going to get right into that. I'm going to plug the blow dryer in and let's take it for a test run. Okay, so before I fire this bad boy up, I want to read to you guys just a couple of the um, features and benefits of the blow dryer because we're going to be going through it anyways. And I don't want to get anything wrong, so I did take some notes on it. First thing is it's got a backlit touchscreen display right on the front, which controls the heat, airflow, and ion settings, which is pretty cool. The next thing is they mentioned that it's lightweight. I would definitely say it's more of a medium weight professional design. It depends on who you talk to and what blow dryer you've been using in the past. This definitely is not super heavy. So don't feel like you're gonna get a cramp in your arm. If you're styling your hair in your bathroom, it's gonna be great. If you're styling your hair all day behind the chair, I would absolutely use this blow dryer. I would not feel like I'm needing to gain muscles to use the blow dryer uh, whatsoever. It's got three heat settings, three airflow settings, and ion settings, and a cool shot button. The next amazing feature that I don't think any other blow dryer has, if, if you know of one, let me know in the comments, but I have never seen this before. It has a smart sense air filter sensor. So that's probably the biggest destroyer of blow dryers is the fact that we don't clean them out. And this is also magnetic. So it pops right off the back. So it'll let you know when you need to uh, change the air filter if something's affecting it. It's almost like a check engine light on a car and then you just snap that right back on. No problem. Uh, no excuses anymore for not cleaning your blow dryer filter. It's got tourmaline ions which help reduce frizz and add shine to the hair. And also you get this added bonus diffuser which I don't know why any blow dryer in this day and age comes without a diffuser anymore. You absolutely need one of these for curly hair. So it's really cool that it comes with it. Now for me, I'm always, 
That's a pretty cool design. I really like the fact that it matches up with the blow dryer. Again, this has a nice sleek feel, but these feel nice and soft and flexible. So the one thing I wanna check out is how do they attach to the blow dryer? And for me, it looks like they just snap on. They do just snap on, they rotate really easily, but they don't feel like they're gonna fall off. And that's the thing where I'm excited about the fact that this is magnetic, but I've used blow dryers currently. I won't say the name of the blow dryer, but I've, I've been using blow dryers that have a magnetic um, attachment, which I actually really loved, but the fact is they fall off a lot. So when you're in the salon working uh, throughout the day, that's not something that I want to happen. So these attachments hook on with ease. I have no problem. They don't feel like they're gonna fall off. Um, when I'm blow drying and they come off nice and easy as well. So the first button starting in the back of the blow dryer is not actually a button. It is the alert for the air filter. So when the air filter needs to be cleaned, this alert goes on and you know to clean the blow dryer. The next three buttons are your heat settings. So you have low heat, medium heat, and high heat. Then you move into the airflow. So then you've got your low, medium, and high airflow, and then you've got your ion button, which you can turn on and off. So if you want ions, then you put them on. If you don't want ions, then you turn them off. Why would you not want ions? Well, for me, what I've always learned is the fact that ions seal the cuticle. They help blow dry the hair um, smoother and shinier. So what you could do is you could do your air drying real quick with the ions off. And then when you wanna go in and seal the hair, seal the cuticle with your round brush and brushing and polish the hair out, then you turn the ions on and you finish off the blow dry so you get a nice silky result. So the next test I would say would be the sound test, which a lot of people like a quiet blow dryer. Is this thing quiet? So as soon as I turn it on, this is on low speed, low airflow, high heat. The heat has nothing to do with the sound, but we'll just keep it on high heat for now. So this is our sound test for low airflow. Hello, can you still hear me? This isn't that bad. I could definitely have a conversation with my guest and not have a problem. Also, let's put the condenser on and see if that changes the sound at all. Now I would say that's the same. I could have the same conversation with my guest, no problem. I'm sure you can hear me fine. Now the next one we're gonna do is medium airflow. I honestly don't think that there's a big difference between medium airflow and low airflow, just a tiny sound difference but I could still absolutely have a conversation and blow a paper off my desk with medium airflow. Now we'll go to high. Now high is definitely a lot louder, but I could still have a conversation with my guests, but as you can see, I'm definitely talking louder. Um, and this is not a super quiet blow dryer at this point. When you switch it back down to low, it's, it's not that bad. And honestly, a lot of times, unless I'm power drying, I keep my blow dryer on low to medium anyways, so I shouldn't have a problem with conversation. And then when you don't wanna to talk to your guests, you just put it right up here on high and say you can't hear them. Now, obviously, for those of you that would buy this blow dryer to use in your home, sound doesn't really matter. Um, so it's got a lot of power, which is really helpful for hairdressers and people at home, but you can also calm it down. You can work with the ions. We'll also turn on the ions. So I'm running it on high, I turn the ion on, turn the ion off. Another thing about this blow dryer is these buttons on top are very responsive. So I didn't have any problems pushing them. Um, it seems very uh, much like working with an iPhone or anything like that. You just push it, uh, tap it with your uh, finger and it works right away. So the last thing that we'll talk about is the cool switch. The cool switch is really simple to use and it's actually one of my favorite features usually on a blow dryer because as a professional when you're blow drying you want to bring up the heat but then when you want to set the hair you want to have that cool switch to cool it down so that your job goes a lot faster and the hairstyle lasts a lot longer. So the great thing about this cool switch is the fact that you don't have to hold it down to get it to work. You just tap it and it turns it cool, and you tap it again, and it makes it warm. So I wanna send a big thank you to Paul Mitchell. The fact that they send these tools, they've supported Free Salon Education for a long time, they sponsor some of the videos. It's just a really great partnership that we have. And also, I want you guys to know out there that 
Um, the fact that we can do things like this, I hope you enjoy the information that I give you about these tools and products. Um, I hope you enjoy the unboxing videos. None of these unboxing videos will ever be uh, geared towards being a negative. I just wanna give you guys information. These are companies that support what free salon education is. It's the reason that free salon education can be free is the fact that we have great companies like Paul Mitchell that support uh, the channel and support the website and all of that. So um, again, I would love to have your product on here. So if any companies are out there and they wanna get involved in the product unboxing, my goal is to make these unboxing videos just a way to deliver information to you guys about new things that are out there. So the more companies that we get supporting free salon education, the more products we will have to talk about um, on this unboxing video and on the other videos that we do. But the number one goal is that we keep educating hairdressers out there. So if you have any questions, you wanna learn more about this Paul Mitchell blow dryer, you can either post them in the comments below or you can go to Paul Mitchell's website, which I'll post in the description below as well. Thank you for the support. Thank you for always being great. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next video and hear your comments.